Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here. Welcome back. Can you throw a ball from outer space and hit the Earth while you're standing on the International Space Station? I don't know. Seems like an easy one. It's the Earth. It's a lot trickier than you think, and you can't do it. So let's get a couple boring numbers out of the way. The space station is about 410 kilometers above the Earth. It is cooking along 27,000 kilometers per hour, which is about 7.6 kilometers per second. So a full orbit of the Earth takes about 92 minutes. So let's say you're on the space station, you're in a really good spacesuit, and you can throw a ball 100 miles an hour. We're talking professional baseball pitcher speed, so it's a doable thing. That translates to about 0 0.04 meters per second. So the moment you let go of that ball, it's going to be going towards the Earth, 0 0.04 meters per second, but it's still going forward, 7.6 kilometers per second. Relative to the space station, it's just going to be angled a little bit, a little bit down. So while it's going down, it's going to pick up some speed. We have gravitational forces and stuff. I'm not going to run the math on that. It's past me. We're going to not worry about friction from the atmosphere. That's beyond me as well. But the ball's going a little bit more towards the Earth. It's going to pick up speed. What happens to an object in orbit that picks up speed? It goes up. So that ball is going to be going down. It's going to get a little bit ahead of the space station. And it's going to lift back up. It's going to go above the space station. Then it's going to slow back down, and it's going to come down. You're going to wind up with an elliptical orbit where it's going to speed up, lift up, slow down, come down. Space station is going to stay in a circular orbit. So you've got about a quarter orbit to hit the Earth before you're going away. You've got about 23 minutes. So that ball in 23 minutes will go about 60 kilometers. That ball's still 350 kilometers above the Earth at a quarter orbit when it starts lifting away. You can't hit the Earth. You'd have to throw that ball something like six or 700 miles an hour to get close enough to Earth to hit it before you hit that one quarter orbit and start moving away again. I know, it's kind of nuts. It blows my mind a little bit. There's a great video by a dude named Scott Manley. Watch that video. He explains it way better than I do. But watch it after you watch this video. I mean, come on. You're watching my video. You don't want to stop. I hope. Maybe. Kind of. Anyway, watch Scott Manley's video. It's really good. So basically, you're going to have a ball in an elliptical orbit speeding up and slowing down. Now eventually, the orbit will decay, the ball will come crashing down to Earth. So technically it will hit the Earth, but that's not really the same as throwing a ball and hitting the Earth. I don't think so. Just not really. So let's take something a little less abstract. Let's look at this lake behind me. There's, there's a ridge down there. Let's call it about 100 meters, give or take. I don't know. I don't know what we are wide. Two or three kilometers, maybe. Tops. So, let's just assume the space station could come swooping down and swoop up, and you could throw that ball right here. 44 meters per second. It's going to take that ball two, two and a half seconds to get down to the water. Two and a half seconds? It's 15 kilometers that way. I mean, if the hill wasn't in the way, it would be crashed way over there. At the speeds of the space station, the guy can't even throw a ball down to hit the lake. So, that's crazy. That's a little, a little less abstract than being in space and orbits and quarter orbits and all that jazz. So, if you've taken the time to watch Scott Manley's video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you haven't, watch it at the end of this. It makes it a little more clear. So. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about that.
Did you already know this? Was it super obvious? Was it a trick question? Did it blow your mind? Kind of did all those things to me. Mostly at the same time. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.